During a chilly spring week in Las Vegas, more than 100,000 people from across the globe gathered to see the newest and most exciting products from equipment manufacturers. For thousands of contractors, it was a chance to kick the tires, climb on board, and get to take the big machinery for a spin. The thousands gathered here know the toll the struggling U.S. economy has taken on their business. They also understand that leaders in Washington could make a huge difference simply by passing a transportation bill that has languished for years amidst partisan bickering. If you, yeah, what would you if tell you, Congress? If you had money to spend, spend it on structure, spend it on infrastructure and things that make jobs. Don't give it to cities and towns just so they can keep people in employed. It's important to build things that are needed in America. That's the real, real, really and truly what's good for America. And that's what creates jobs in America, by building infrastructure, building roads, repairing roads, repairing bridges, highways, water, sewer. Everybody needs it every day. Well, if you could tell Congress one thing, what would you tell them to do? Rebuild our infrastructure. I worked for K&R, big road builders out of Grand Rapids for years. And I know when they're busy, they don't go after the site work. When the site work guys are busy, they don't go after my houses. You know, then I won't be just stuck on the farm. I'll be back doing houses because everyone's going to make money building roads. I'd say give up some money for some roads. Keep us working. Be the best thing. They need to fix the roads. They need to put some money on the infrastructure. Transportation is a major part of everyday life, and without roads that can handle our, heavy, our heavier, heavier loads, we have nothing, you know, nothing. If we want if we want to envision the future, we need to start it now. Um, we've been sitting on our haunches for long enough. It's time to, to get out. There's lots of resource that America has. There's, there's lots of ability that we can get out there and grab. We just got to get off our duffs and do it. And we got to tell the people in Washington to get off their duffs and, and help us out a little bit instead of self-serving themselves in Congress. It's getting really sad. Those workers and business owners are just a small sample of the more than 3,000 people who signed up to take action in the Association of Equipment Manufacturers' revolutionary I Make America campaign in Las Vegas. People who signed up to take action were given the chance to spin the prize wheel, and hundreds took home I Make America t-shirts, keychains, and koozies, and more than 100 got the chance to meet one of I Make America's biggest supporters, Mike Rowe of the Discovery Channel's Dirty Job Show. I make America. I make America. You guys I make America. I make America. I make America. After Mike met with the lucky winners for pictures and autographs, he spoke to us about the reaction he is seeing all across America to the I Make America campaign. Are you, uh, are you, as you go around the country, are you hearing people talk about I Make America? More and more. Every day people stop me, they ask me about that, they ask me about, uh, there are three or four different campaigns that are similar, but I Make America is probably the one that got, that's getting the most attention right now. So yeah, no, it's, it's working. AEM President Dennis Slater, who is the driving force behind the I Make America campaign, was on hand all week to meet with convention goers and to check on the momentum of the campaign. What he saw made him hopeful that the thousands who are participating in I Make America will eventually make a difference in Washington. I think what surprises me is the number of people. I think, and also the fact that maybe the theme itself just is just an eye catcher. So you get it out there and say, oh, I Make America, it just sounds generic. Until you get to a show of pretty patriotic people here who want to, want to help this country and understand the need for uh, fixing our roads and helping to help the economy. And AEM has no plans of letting up until Congress makes good on its pledge to pass laws that spur American job growth so that the machines on display here in Vegas find homes for thousands willing to work to make America. All right, let me ask you, if you could tell Congress one thing, what would it be? Spend my money better, <laughs> more wisely, at home, at home right. in America, America, red, white, and blue.